when the narcissist finds a new supply and they get karma very soon. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. We hope you're all doing well. We have some intriguing topics to discuss today. I wish to discuss something crucial and dramatic, the concept of narcissistic tendencies and whether narcissists truly receive their karma. Many survivors of narcissistic abuse often wonder why the narcissist appears happy even after causing harm. They question why the narcissist seems content with new relationships and support systems. I want to delve into these concerns using the case of Steve Harvey and his family dynamic to provide an understanding of narcissistic abuse and behaviors. As always, we aim to provide insightful analysis and spark thoughtful conversations. So, let's dive right in. Steve Harvey's current wife, Marjorie Harvey, is rumored to have filed for divorce due to an alleged infidelity with his longtime bodyguard. Regardless of the truth of these rumors, they have unveiled certain aspects of their family life. I'm not interested in spreading rumors, rather, I want to highlight the elements that depict a narcissistic family dynamic. Steve Harvey is a well-known figure, appreciated for his humor and charisma. I don't personally know him, hence I cannot comment on his character beyond what he presents to the public. However, the recent news about his possible third divorce has prompted me to examine his life a bit more closely. Steve Harvey, like all of us, is not perfect. In this discussion, I'm not diagnosing him as a narcissist. Instead, I'm using him as an example to demonstrate what narcissism can look like. Some might argue that he's an empath with narcissistic tendencies. Such tendencies, if negative, can be problematic and push people away. This can bring someone closer to the spectrum of being a narcissist. People often defend narcissists by saying that even empaths can have narcissistic tendencies. Indeed, this is true. However, whether these tendencies make someone a narcissist depends on how extreme these behaviors are. It's important to note that everyone carries some degree of narcissism, but it's the distinction between healthy and unhealthy narcissism where things become complex. Steve Harvey, a prominent figure, had his first marriage in the 80s, fathering three daughters from this union. The reasons for its dissolution are unclear, but it's evident there was a commitment that should have been respected. The couple decided to part ways, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions. Harvey might have experienced trauma or unhealed wounds, like most people, which could have potentially led to narcissistic tendencies. Despite being in a marital relationship, he showed interest in other women. Interestingly, his third wife was reportedly involved during his first marriage, though this was never publicly acknowledged. Like many narcissists, his narrative has been the one widely circulated a story of a man who was homeless at one point and managed to rise from those circumstances. His first marriage and the three children from it faded into the background as Harvey's fame in comedy rose. He remarried in the late 80s, but this second marriage was short-lived. According to him, the reasons for divorce were due to marrying for the wrong reasons and being unprepared for the commitment. The second wife's side of the story, which includes claims of infidelity involving Harvey's third wife, was largely suppressed. This pattern highlights the potential for manipulation by those in positions of power and influence. Steve Harvey now has four children from two marriages, both of which ended for unknown reasons. The world only knows his side of the story. His bodyguard, a significant part of his operations, suggested he reconnect with Marjorie, claiming she brought out his best self. Narcissists, however, cannot escape the consequences of their actions. The impact of abruptly leaving a marriage, dismantling a family, and doing it again with a second family, follows them. The bodyguard's suggestion, which I perceive as ill-intended, led Harvey back to a woman he had relations with during his marriages. Despite his numerous marriages, Harvey's success continues to grow, misleading many into thinking all is well. But one cannot deceive the divine. The actions of every person, narcissist or not, are observed by a higher power. Harvey fell for the trap and reconnected with Marjorie. After years of sporadic communication, they were suddenly in love again. Narcissists often maintain contact with past partners, keeping them available as backup. These individuals usually have self-serving motives, planning for their own futures. 
Often, the so-called new partner is someone who has been around for a while, only stepping into the limelight when they feel the time is right. Once Steve Harvey amassed wealth and riches, his original families, from his first two marriages, watched as he lived a blissful life with his new partner, Marjorie, and her children. His own children seemed to become less relevant the longer he was with Marjorie. In an unexpected turn, Steve adopted Marjorie's children. Despite his public image as a family man, rumors suggest his biological children feel neglected, especially in favor of his stepdaughter, Lori. Behind the scenes, tensions are reportedly high among his children, Randy, Carly, Broderick, and Winton, with their stepmother Marjorie and stepsister Lori. Steve's relationship with Lori Harvey is perceived as preferential, leaving his biological children feeling overlooked. It's ironic how a narcissist can abandon their family and play the role of a doting parent to someone else's children. This behavior is unjust and often invites karma. The entire time he's been married to Marjorie, who is not without her character flaws, she's been raising her daughter to be overly confident and egotistical, confusing material wealth with love. As her daughter grows older, the repercussions of this upbringing will become more evident, perpetuating the cycle of narcissism. While Steve Harvey was married to Marjorie, his ex-wives and children had to silently watch him prosper, while they pieced together their shattered lives. Despite his public persona as a guide for men and relationships, his children witnessed a different reality. His daughters are barely involved in his life, with most media attention focusing on his stepdaughter, Lori Harvey. Before Marjorie came into his life, his daughters were involved in his business. After Marjorie's entrance, she took control, with Steve appearing to be blindly in love, even foregoing a prenuptial agreement. This demonstrates the powerful influence narcissists can exert, often choosing wrong over right, then playing the victim to manipulate others with their charismatic personalities. Narcissists often seem to have appealing personalities and can be uplifting and encouraging, but their motives are self-serving. They wish to control you, obtain praise, and manipulate your perception. This is why they can't escape karma. They're stuck in a cycle of toxicity, often having multiple marriages and children, hurting innocent people, and then playing the victim. They retreat to old relationships or seek new ones, creating a false narrative that paints them in a favorable light and blames the ex-partner for the issues. Let's consider how the divine intervenes in the lives of narcissists. They may seem successful, with wealth and new relationships, but these are often short-lived and end embarrassingly. The universe has a way of bringing balance. Steve Harvey's first and second families have watched him prosper and create new families. These new families have benefited from his wealth, which his biological children should have been entitled to. But due to his decisions, the consequences are inevitable. Narcissists ultimately pay a high price for their actions, the harm they inflict, and their lack of accountability. This pain can deeply hurt people, sometimes to the point where they can't forgive and their futures become unclear due to trauma. Whether the rumors about Harvey are true or not, it's evident that his world is changing. It's important to look beyond the surface and consider the red flags. Harvey isn't a victim, he's a prime example of a narcissist. He's been so engulfed in his success that he's overlooked the pain he's caused. The grand displays of his new life, the vacations, the parties, all were meant to make others feel excluded. But in the end, it all amounts to nothing. It was always a facade, a part of the narcissist's performance. Behind the facade of a narcissist is a complex and often unpleasant reality. This is exemplified by Steve Harvey and his family. Despite appearances, it's crucial to remember that a narcissist's actions are often short-lived and come with consequences. When someone shows you their true character, believe them. Personality might be attractive, but it's their actions, especially when faced with right and wrong, that truly define them. Those who do wrong can expect to face repercussions. Their perceived happiness is usually temporary and not genuine. The situation with Steve Harvey and his family reveals a high level of narcissism. While it's common for a woman to support her man in building his empire and to be entitled to a share in case of a breakup, in this case, both parties seem to have been selfish. If the rumors about Marjorie's actions are true, her time to face the consequences is likely approaching.
When it comes to celebrities, rumors are often found to be mostly true. In narcissistic relationships, trauma bonding can lead to self-gaslighting, where harmful behaviors are overlooked. If Steve Harvey is denying the rumors about his wife, it further confirms the complexity of their relationship. Typically, the new partner of a narcissist becomes their karma. Given Harvey's high-profile life and his public display of affection for his wife, he might choose to stay in the relationship to avoid public shame and financial loss. If the rumors about Marjorie's intentions for his wealth are true, it will be interesting to see how the situation unfolds. As always, remember to share your thoughts. Well, that's all for today. We've had an enlightening discussion about some pressing issues, and we hope it's given you some food for thought. Remember, your perspectives matter to us, so don't hesitate to drop your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to hit the like button if you found this video informative, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay safe, stay curious, and keep the conversation going.